Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? Y'all already know what time it is, man. Y'all tuned in to the Fox Cave Chronicles. It's your girl, Foxy, here. And who we got in the cave tonight? Big sniper in the building, man. Aye, aye. Hey, you know we got to chop it up. We got some stuff to talk about, man. It's right, good to have bro. you here. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Aye, aye. Shout out to my team, Mr. Black, Jonathan Hollis. Shout out to all the sponsors for season two. As y'all know, this is the last week for season two of the Five K Chronicles. It's been a great run. Season two has actually outran season one, man. I'm talking about season two, like six or seven months strong, bro. For real, for real. So, we go shout out to season two. Uh, all the sponsors are Yana Pride, Steve Hendricks, Hendricks Tattoos and Pierces. If you haven't had a chance to go get tatted up by my boy, you miss it out, man. For real, for real. And he occasionally throws specials on his tattoos, uh, on his tattooing and piercings as well. So, shop with our black-owned businesses, man. For real, for real. Google Hendricks Tattoos and Pierces, Facebook, Hendricks Tattoos, Instagram, Stevie Hendricks 87. He's the owner, he's the artist. A1 uh, service, five star customer service all the way around. We appreciate you. Steve Hendricks, shout out to Cliff Brewster, Palmo Volvo, 740 Larson Street, Jackson, Mississippi. If you're walking and you need your ride, man, you tired of calling people, come pick you up. Go over there and holler at my guy Cliff. They can put you in something nice and affordable. I'm telling you, you won't be walking. Anymore. So make sure you tell them that box is sent you. We appreciate you, Cliff. Shout out to Arthur Toilet, Toya Lawson, my wonderful Silver Fox sponsor. Um, she is a famous uh, female black author. She has a book series, My Sitter. Make sure y'all check that out. You can purchase it on Amazon. She has another book series getting ready to drop as well. She's also a female rap artist in the midst of all that. So make sure you're following. On the tour on Instagram and check out all her hot videos on YouTube. We appreciate you, girl. Shout out to Benita McGee, just a wonderful family friend. She just wants to support the Five K Chronicles just because, and we appreciate you for that. If you haven't had a chance to check out Paradise Skates and Events, the only skating rink that's open right here in Jackson, Mississippi, 2460 Sweet 1600, Terry Road, Serena Davis is. You know the owner of that black owned business so make sure you grab your kids grab the skates and come on out to paradise skates and events because you know how y'all always say we don't have a skating rink here in jackson so we have one here and it's open and um it's black owned so support 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 um every friday night they have lip sync friday so you can go have your good time and win some free cash doors open at eight and the show starts at eight. we appreciate you serena davis Shout out to OG Snap. His album is getting ready to drop August the 5th, man. For real, for real. That's right around the corner. So make sure y'all tap into that and show Snap some love and support for putting that hard work in um, and getting ready to drop his album. So we go shout out for being a Red Fox sponsor. Last but not least, Lex Luger, the Backwood Ambassador. We appreciate you for being an Arctic Fox sponsor. We appreciate um, you for the whole entire Hood Idol brand, man. You know what I'm saying? You got Hood Idol Radio, you got Hood Idol Magazine, Fox K Chronicles had a, a chance to be featured in Hood Idol Magazine, so we appreciate you for that. Um, the Hood Idol Legacy Tour as well, and the Trafficking Hour, and just the whole just list of so much more. So, big old shout out to Lex Luke, man. We appreciate all our sponsors for season two. I accept the sponsors for season three. You gotta know that. So hit me up. I can tell you about the three sponsor packages that we have available. You can do Silver Fox, oh look, Arctic Fox, man. Silver Fox, Red Fox, can't lose. Hit me up. Let's get into it, man. What's good? What's going on? What's good. I have actually watched you like transform before my very eyes you know what i'm saying because i remember um when you first got into this i think i came in like the middle part or something yeah. you know what i'm saying but um first of all tell the people where you from man where you from oh, jackson man jackson i'm in the city really yeah. 
queen. Born and raised. Shout out to the queens. You already know what it is. Okay. Now, out of all the things in your life, you could have got into basketball, football, anything. What boxing? Uh, it was a B sport. Boxing is like a selfish sport. That's something that I want to do. Football, that's a team sport. I can blame people. I want to blame me. I don't want to rely on nobody else. That's something that I can do by myself. Oh, man. That's a great answer. And I, I never thought about it like that. You're right. You're right. For real, for real. Now, you call it. When I, when I, when I met you, it was the ghost. Yeah. Okay. Where did that come from? Uh, the ghost? Yeah. The ghost that came up from the whole time. Right?
went to a tournament in Florida. Okay. We had a fight in Florida, and uh, we went out there, and uh, my coach in Jackson, he didn't come. So I needed a coach. Mm -hmm. So uh, we saw him. He remembered me. He was like, he was, uh, he was the one that was in my gym, right? Right. And uh, so I was like, yeah. So uh, he was like, uh, I'll help you. So he helped me. That was the first time I uh, ever, like, coaching. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, he got his number, he got his um social media, we got his uh, Instagram and all that. And uh, he told me to come down and shit, we just did out of there. I don't even say. Yeah. So it you're not the only guy that, that he coaches, right? It's yeah. other guys yeah, exactly. as well. There's a bunch of guys. A bunch of killers. Alright. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> For real. Tell me, um, how many fights have you been in, man? Amateur fights. I say sixty. That's 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 what I say. I say sixty, but I think I've been in more. I don't find it in, in like either at a hundred or over. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. And, and, and then plus like sparring matches with people that I don't know, like going to like other states and sparring them. I guess it's a little fights because I mean we don't know. Them. Yeah, yeah. But far like it's like regular fights, probably like hundred. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of hitting people. <laughs> for real, for real. Oh man, I can't. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to get in about what just happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hold it. I'm trying to hold it to the end and get a little more information. But I want, I'm gonna talk about. It. I'm gonna talk about it. Okay. So tell me when you get in the ring. What, what is what is it like when you get in the ring? When you get ready to match? Uh, I be nervous. Really? Even though I didn't have like that many fights, I still be nervous. To me, it'd be like uh, being nervous kind of like keeps me more focused and like uh, more aware. I feel like if I'm not nervous, then I'm not I'm not really like worried about the other person. So I I probably be doing dumb stuff. So not 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 scared, nervous. Mm -hmm. but nervous as far as like I'm aware. You know, I gotta be focused on what he can do. Yeah, you know, fighter doesn't like me. He hurt me, hurt me. So I gotta be ready. Yeah. You know, I just be. And then like far like when I get in the ring, once the bell ring, uh, that's it. Oh. Yeah. Once the bell ring is over. Oh. <coughs> that's what I'm talking about. You are like Mississippi, and quote me if I'm wrong, you're like Mississippi's only professional boxer. You got you got pros out here, no question. As far as like doing what I'm doing, I don't know. You definitely right on that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking the about. Flame on the city for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Man, I'm gonna cut to the chase. Tell me about it. Tell me about the one round TKO. Tell me about it, man. I wish I could have been there and watched it. Was, it, was, it, was, it was a good experience. It was fun. Uh, I was talking to one of my teammates, uh, Mac Truck. He five, he, uh, he five and oh. Mac Truck. Yeah, Mac Truck. Uh, he a heavyweight, a five and oh. Fighting out of the gym that, uh, that I fight Okay, okay. So uh, he kind of like the veteran of the gym. So I asked him about like, some corners. Uh, he didn't talk about to soak it all up. Have fun, you know. So I listened. Yeah. So the whole time I was kind of like happy, like walking to the ring. I'm smiling. Mm -hmm. Like in the ring, I'm still, I'm still like uh, having fun. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, you I was. Never, I never <laughs> got like too serious, like, like kind of mad, cause then like they'll probably like throw me off my game. Like I'm trying to be too focused and be too serious. So like, my pop told me before the fight, he said, "Have fun." Probably like two weeks ago before he said, have fun. So, you know, that was about it, really. Like, I was just trying to uh, have fun. And then, you know, I, I went to gloves, got on, uh, got in the ring. Uh, the rest of history. How old were you? But it was, uh, uh, my coach told me, he, he, uh, he told me in the first round, he said, uh, stay calm. Mm -hmm. But before the bell rung, he told me, uh, stay calm. Uh, or, uh, work your jab, you know, uh, set him up. 
a sniper. You said them both too, man. Yeah, sure. You, you so, said them both. <laughs> I would watch at first, it. At first, I was just waiting. You know, he was throwing the little punches. You know, he wasn't hitting me at all. So I'm bad. I'm like, okay, give me the jab right there. Yeah. Once I hit him, and I saw how he reacted, I knew it was over. But I still never got like too anxious. Because a lot of people like, get tired sometimes. They try to get too anxious, blow their load, start throwing wild punches. They throw like a thousand punches. I really just stayed calm. I saw, oh, he thought he was hurt. After the first oh, right hand that I threw, I saw, oh, no, no, he was hurt. So I really like just stayed calm, and I just I let him undo what he do, and I just I set him up again. Yeah. So uh, the first drop, uh, uh, my pop said it again. Uh, when we was in the back, I was uh, shut up boxing. I threw a 4-3. He said, that's going to be the shot that dropped him. So the first time that I dropped him, that was a, that was a shot uh, that dropped him. I threw a, a, a 4-3. That's an uppercut and then a little drop. The second time, I dropped it with a four pull two. That was it. That's a that's a, a that's a, a uppercut. I pull it back and then I do it with my right hand. Yeah, you caught that right. <laughs> so you know, caught it. Kind of like just stay calm. Really just let it stay up uh, with the game plan. Pay attention, listen, soak it all up, still uh, have fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome man. Congratulations on that. Real talk, for real. Um, tell me about the role your pops played in your in, in your boxing career. He played a big part. I don't think he really know how big of a part he played, but he played a big part. Like you know, like I be telling people, like on my teammates, like people that I uh, meet with, like every day. If something ever happened to him, I'm done boxing. Like that's like how, like how big a role. Uh, like if something ever happened, I'm done boxing. Like I would quit boxing. Uh, like I just be too much. Like I'm done boxing. Cause to me, like it really put me in boxing. Yeah. Uh, so I like I'd be done. I'd be like, damn, that little. Uh, Cause he, he yes. kind of like push me. He motivates me. So I, I'd be like, damn, but it's over. You know, I probably won't have like that drive.
flowing through, flowing through stuff, but more, more to me than like just to be a master of the game. To me, he like a, a Larry Holmes or something. He kind of.
he's like a coach and a mentor. I don't need anyone. All that one. Keep you off the streets too. Go to Atlanta. Crazy. Alright. Shout out to the coach again, man. For sure. For real. Key White, tell us what you got coming up next, like white wise. Uh today or before we left. Stay tuned, man. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to let y'all know. Good show. You know what I'm saying? The fight in Jackson. It will be live. And I need everybody to come out, show support, buy tickets, buy shirts, merch, whatever. If you just if you just get $5 and do something, like just show up. That's right. That's right. Oh, what's your social media if people want to um, oh, follow you? You can get me on the ground at bigsnipe.sg. Um, are you on YouTube? Can we view anything on YouTube? Uh, Key White the Ghost. I don't really post nothing like that no more. That's really like my little sister. Yeah. <laughs> she, she be posting on the, uh, uh, she be freestyling on that. Dad, it's freestyling, man. Dad, it's. I'm not the 
Yeah, you on the show next. <laughs> For real. Gotta know that. After, after, after like, uh, after like other amateurs, uh, one of my coaches was like, stop posting uh, videos, like boxing videos, because one day people gonna look at you like, they can study you. Study you, yeah. right. Now, that's uh, the Dallas page. Alright. Y'all wanna see how freestyle y'all go? I gotta check it out. Check it out. I gotta check it out, Dallas. She got a, she got a whole freestyle of that saying the same thing. <laughs> turn up, Dallas. Turn up on them for sure. Yeah. So y'all go check it out. Uh, people's chapter. That was, that was the, uh, the, uh, the people's chapter. Okay. And she's freestyle. Yeah. Got it like that. Keep waiting on your this. You know, you know you always welcome back here for anytime. Sure. So sure. I'm telling y'all, for the fight in Texas, I will be back. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming back. The whole team gonna be here, you know. We'll let y'all know. Awesome. So greatness, greatness, greatness. Congratulations again, appreciate man. That, appreciate that. I call it man, the one round TKO champ. <laughs> for sure. For so, not a matter one round. Next fight, he going to sleep. He's going to be a KO. Not a oh, man, that man sees him. KO. Put him to sleep. Yes, sir. I want to see him. <laughs> I got to be there to see him. Sure. For real, for real. Man, we want to thank you, Ghost, Big Snipe, yes, sir. Key White, for swinging down on the Fox Cave Chronicles for this exclusive, exclusive interview, man. Oh, man, I appreciate y'all. More than welcome back, always. Make sure y'all check him out, man. This is this greatness. Don't say what he tell you now. You heard it here first. Please do not say that. You heard it here first. For he is real. not going for that. Alright. He's not going for that. Tell him. He's going for a handout. He's not going for a handout. He's going for a handout. He's going for a handout. For real. For real. Um, shout out to my team. Bruce the Black John the Holland. Shout out to all the sponsors. A young prize. Steve Hendricks. Um. Uh, Cliff Brewster, Arthur Tor, Benita McGee, Serena Davis, OG Snap, and Lex Luger, the Vancouver Ambassador. We appreciate you for being uh, sponsors for season two of the Fox K Chronicles. KB on production. KB, can you do me a favor and grab my pink uh, uh, calendar book thing? Okay, you all. I have an announcement to make. I've been telling y'all about the raffle. I guess y'all have forgot or y'all haven't took heed to it, but um, it breaks up. As you all know, August the 28th, we got a concert about to hit Jackson. Thank you. A by MJG, Bun B, Skyface, Juvenile, Yin Yang Twins, um, the Queen Wars. I think it's somebody else. One more person. But anyway, y'all know I was nominated for Female Entertainer of the Year for the Best of Mississippi Awards, and it just so happens that. The award show is on the same night as the concert. So, I am raffling off one free ticket to the Old School Hip Hop Reunion. All you have to do is follow the Vox Cave Chronicles on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Vox Cave Chronicles. Inbox me or DM me and show me proof that you've done both of those and your name will be entered to win this ticket. Now that's a free ticket you ain't gotta pay for. You ain't gotta pay no money to enter this raffle. All I want you to do is follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. How simple is that? That's all you gotta do and I'm gonna enter your name into the raffle. And we're gonna pull names uh, July 31st. The concert is August 28th. So you have to um take this ticket uh, to the box office by August the 25th to get your ticket. So if you want somebody to go with you, y'all just go at the same time. They can buy that ticket. You got your ticket. Y'all going to the concert. Free ticket? Free ticket. So once again, enter the raffle, man. Follow the Fox Cave Chronicles on Instagram. Subscribe to the Fox Cave Chronicles on YouTube and your name will be entered once you show me proof that you done uh, both of those, and I hate that I can't go. <laughs> I want to go so bad because I just know. But I'm going to get my award, man. For real, for real. I go, I, I, I can holler at them anytime. But I want one of y'all to go. So enter. 
enter to win. Subscribe to the Boss Cave Chronicles on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. And hey, y'all better be with you. Know what I'm <laughs> For real, for real. Get ready for the 5K Chronicles All White Reunion Concert for Season 2, August 27th, right here at Designers Grill, 3028 West Northside Drive. We're going to see if Season 2 going to do it better than Season 1, baby. We will have a red carpet um, hosted by Lit Love Delisa. Red carpet starts at 7 o'clock and the show starts at 8 o'clock. Make sure you be here in your all white, pure white, snow white. No off-white, edge of white, brown, beige, none of that. You will not be able to enter. You won't have somebody at the door with the, the, the scan thing to make sure you're white. <laughs> your white don't pass, we ain't going to let you in. And make sure your shoe game is up to par because we will have the shoe cam zooming in on not only your feet. We want to see your shoes too. So don't come with your all white and then you got the black Air Force turned up. We ain't gonna let you in. We ain't gonna let you in. We ain't gonna do that. Um, we, I'm telling you, you know, they'll do it. They'll do it. So we want to see everybody here August the 27th, man. For the Boss Game Chronicles, season two, all white reunion concert. And we're gonna end the year with our Fox Cave Chronicles Awards show, December the 11th, right here at Designers Grill, 3028 West Northside Drive. This award show is for season one and two of the Fox Cave Chronicles. We wanna make sure everybody get recognized and everybody leave here with something. You know what I'm saying? Um, our donations for the show are accepted cash F dollar sign F O X X Y F I T. That's dollar sign Foxy Fit. Send them in so we can Upgrade this thing, man. I'm trying to have y'all video playing in the background while y'all performing. You dig? So, send them donations in. You feel me? For real, for real. Um, like I said, y'all, this is the last week for season two. Season two ends July 31st. And, um, season, season three going to pick back up. I ain't going to tell y'all when. Just know it's going to pick back up. So, other than that, I enjoyed this interview. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Welcome back anytime. Shout out to my manager. Shout out to Designers Grill, 3028 West Northside Drive, where we hold all the Fox Cave Chronicles shows and events. Shout out to the studio audience out there. Y'all make some noise. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Um, y'all tune in tomorrow. I ain't gonna even tell y'all who we got. Y'all just wait to sleep. Just tune in tomorrow. It's 7 o'clock p.m. We out here. Don't, don't.